All my kings, queens, and zooligans. It's another one like the other one. And as always, I pray that all y'all out there is doing better than well. Finding innovative ways to create change, not only for yourself, but for those around you, including your community, your turf, your hood. Leave it better than how you found it. When I was coming up as a youngster, man, we had big homies that would guide and mold us into becoming the best G's that we possibly can be. We lost a lot of that with three strikes, uh, gang injunctions, and crack epidemic. But through this media, social media platform, I'm begging God that he might manifest some realness back into this little thing of ours. Before I go too far, though, I got to send a shout out to the father, man, and make sure that he's in this building so that good things can come from uh, this little teachable moment. Thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to come together in your name. Please, Lord Father, I beg you to help and assist all that's going through troublesome times mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and help us to get over the hurdle, Lord Father, for with you all things is possible. Please, Lord Father, I beg you, forgive us for all our sins, man. We're just trying to find ways to make it in this world that's against us. In your name, amen. Now, I talk about a lot of dead homies. I talk about a lot of uh, hardships, prison stories. But nowadays, I want to veer towards more loving stories. I got a story about when I was a youngster and I was ashamed of my name being Onaje. Uh, when I would go to elementary schools and say my name, the teachers would pick on me. And, and not in a foul way, but they would not be able to say my name. And so they would try to say it four and five times before they finally say, well, do you have a nickname that we can call you? And uh, my dad and mom did not, uh, you know, preach to me on a regular how loving my name was, where it came from, uh, the fruits of it to where I would be able to represent it in a high regard. So instead, I was ashamed and embarrassed by it and wished that I had another name. And so uh, when I played baseball, and what have you, football, uh, they would ask me what my name is. And so first I would always start off with my name, but then when they couldn't pronounce my name, of course they do the same as my teachers would in elementary school. And they would ask me, well, what else can we call you? And I would say, Jesse. I remember during one of my baseball uh, 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 games, when I played cap with my homeboy, Marcus Lewis, shout out to him and his, tell your daddy, I said, what's up? And uh, your sister and all, you know, the rest of your family, man, nothing but love. Uh, I was pitching and I was on the mound and I was pitching strikes. And so the coaches on the sideline, good job, Jesse, get him, Jesse. That's what we talking about, Jesse. My granny, my granny, and my mother is sitting in the, is sitting at this guy like Park, sitting at the uh, uh on the bleachers, right over there, the one by Freeze, right? Who Jesse? Who who, who the hell is Jesse? That's Nye up there pitching the ball, right? So finally, when I come off the mound and we go inside the dugout or whatever, my granny pushes up and say, "Why are they calling you Jesse?" Who is Jesse? And I say, I'm Jesse. She said, well, why do you call yourself Jesse? And I say, I call myself Jesse because Jesse Campbell. <laughs> Shout out to Jesse Campbell, man. I never had the chance of meeting you, but to me, 
when I was going to Skyline Park in the late 80s, early 90s, you was the biggest thing going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought you was going to play for an NFL team or something like that, the way that they would. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I was just tripping. But it, to me, it appeared that uh, you was the next thing happening, man. They was treating you like a celebrity around there. And not only that, but to me, you had the baddest little broad on your arm, man. Uh, I want to say it was Dorothy. You know what I'm saying? Dorothy and, and uh, 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 shout out to my homegirl, Lourdes. That's the baby sister. And then I think it was Bernice. Anyway, they was Filipino and black man and all the homies in the set wanted them. To, to, this is, to remember, I'm a, these guys are way older than me, man. But when I lived in medical apartments, we would walk to school together. They would drive, they would, it'd be a big old crowd of people. And they would drop us off at Boone and keep on belling the bell. But to me, this is what it looked like to my young eyes, man. He looked like Superstar. He had the Superstar girl on his arm looking real good. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wanted that, man. I wanted that life. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homegirl, Andrea. I used to be on her jock trying to highlight at her, man. She used to treat me bad, man. <laughs> but shout out to my homegirl. I love you, man. I love you to death. I pray that all is going good for you. And uh, like I say, man... This little thing of ours was a family to me, man. I grew up watching these cats, man. Uh, uh, and they was like the individuals to pay attention to. And this is outside of the Pyro section. You understand? And so anyway, I bring him up because like I say, I used to call myself Jesse after him. But also because of my homeboy, um, Archie Amerson, right? Now, his coach, his daddy was my coach. And the whole Amerson family, man, it's a bunch of them dudes, man. Uh, good grind. Great guys, man. And and reason why I'm talking about them today, because to our community, they give back and they represent something more than just the negative aspect of where we come from. They actually give back, you know what I'm saying, with time and energy and love and effort and, and hopes of uh, bringing up the next generation of Skyline. You know what I'm saying? And that's, to me, what it means to be part of our community. The same way David Dunn is down there in Lincoln giving back, man, to his community, although he made it all the way to the NFL. You know what I mean? He found his way back to his roots, same way Archie Emerson is doing for us. But not just him, like I said, it's others. And those are the ones that we need to promote and appreciate more because they are also, to me, Skyline, the very definition of it. And to those guys, those are some of the realest people I know. You know what I'm saying? Is the ones that made it out but came back in hopes of breathing some life into our community. The homeboys that then went to the pen and came back home that's more knowledgeable about the system and its behaviors need to give back to the young ones that's running around. In hopes that they're not like chickens with their head cut off, man, bumping into the walls, going crazy, not knowing what moves to make and how to make those moves. The homies has been on drugs and dope for all these years, bro. Teach them better. That's what we're, that's what you, that's what makes you a real one. It's not picking up the gun per se. Don't get me wrong. It is very much a need to have one than not have one just for a survival mechanism and or to protect your family and loved ones. So that's okay. But how you use them, when to use them, where to use them, legal versus illegal. These is what needs to be taught, man. 
drugs. The PCP homies think giving the homeboys drugs to smoke is okay. Or giving them money. Neither one is okay, bro. You are adding to the problem. You're not solving nothing. Yeah, they're going to get it somewhere else, but you're still promoting something that you know is no good for not only them, but for everyone around them. That's not being a real liner, homie. A real liner want to love their peoples and help them to grow and be better and do what's right, even when it's wrong. Do right, homie. Love your homie. For real, though, by giving him the strength needed at a time when he needed most. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much of y'all time today, man. I'm just hollering at you, man. Just giving a shout out to some of my real ones, man. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, who we don't really think about as being liners when they more liners than the streets division. You understand? Streets division needs to take a page out of the square division because the square division is the one that's really actually putting in the real work to this little thing for us with that being said man don't forget to pick up five star general volume one cali banger written by your boy also uh five star general volume two street marine and uh hit me up on instagram hit me up on facebook bro Thank you for your comments. I appreciate the love, man. And uh, again, everybody stay safe out there, man. Read your Bible. Talk to God. I promise you, it'll help you through this journey on earth that we all are all trying to survive, but not only survive, but thrive. With that being said, peace.